Royal Family are visiting various members of the Commonwealth in honour of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. But it's an expensive thing to send that much aristocracy abroad. Apparently when one is royal, one doesn't fly Ryanair. Yet the extra million pounds they receive from the public purse to pay for this little jaunt around the Empire is chump change when compared to the real cost of the Jubilee pageant. Our flagging economy is about to take a hit to the tune of a billion pounds as we gear up to what I'm sure will be a memorable affair. Memorable because never has so much money been spent on something so unremarkable. What people should really be celebrating this summer is the marvels of medical care for the elderly, especially when you have a few quid to spend. I honestly believe the Queen could keep going for at least another 20 years, as long as the public's willing to keep footing the bill. That is if we don't mind having some weird medication and old cyborg as a head of state. But then again, I'd definitely throw in 20 quid to see that happen. And remember, as medical care continues to improve, well, for the rich anyway, we'll eventually end up with an increasingly elderly monarch. So when Charles eventually chokes to death on his own sense of self-entitlement, and he's succeeded by his son, the Duke of Cambridge, he'll no doubt be well into his second century. King William I, the only monarch ever to turn up at his coronation on a mobility scooter. But soon this festival of vanities will be upon us, so we might as well get on with it. But then what do you get an octogenarian monarch on her anniversary? My gran got M&S pyjamas for her birthday last year, but I'm sure the Queen's grandkids have already bought her some of those. In fact, we'll probably see the bill on our next expense form. I know, how about a half a million pound 88 foot rowboat? I'm sure she doesn't have one of those yet. And if she does, we can always use them for a giant game of battleships. Or maybe we could reenact Trafalgar in another vain attempt to rekindle some vague sense of national pride. Scratch that, I think we already sold our national pride to a Russian oligarch. The reason the economy is in the toilet right now is because it's exactly this type of spend now, pay later mentality that's currently gripping the nation. What happened to Sensible Britain, the stoic and responsible nation that got through two world wars on a can of beans, a potato and a patriotic song? Leave the vulgar displays of wealth to the Americans, they do it with so much more conviction. But whatever your politics, we all have to accept that we don't live in a republic, and I'm not suggesting we set up a guillotine on the mall. Our monarchy is a part of the history and tradition of this country, but at one point so were bear baiting, serfdom and public execution. Then if you've ever watched Britain's Got Talent, you'll see that maybe we haven't exactly given up on those either. I have no doubt that this whole thing will be a spectacular affair, a reason for the whole country to party. Yet after all parties, there's the inevitable hangover. Unfortunately, not all of us will get to recover on silken sheets in a royal palace. God save the Queen.